Welcome back to Legal Talk on E Radio with Han and Han Attorneys. And uh, this week we chat to uh, Associate Attorney Isabella Mazzone from uh, Han and Han, telling us about uh, what the food industry should look out for from a legal and compliance perspective in 2023. Isabella, nice to have you back for the first time in the new year. Hope you're well. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jan. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Nice to have you back. Now, members of the food industry have to keep up to date with all of these regulations as they tend to change quite often. Have any of the food regulations been amended recently? Yeah. So, well, the new year has actually brought some new and exciting developments for the food industry. And uh, during the festive season, there were a couple of additions as well to the regulatory environment. So I think there are two things that are quite important that happened. So um, there was a proposal to amend the coffee regulations recently. So the R1154 coffee, chicory and related products regulations are still really, really new to the regulatory landscape. And they only came into force in October 2021. So the Department of Agriculture published a proposal to amend these regulations on the 15th of December uh, just now. So while we were all busy on holiday and the deadline for comments, unfortunately, have already passed now on the 16th of January. But in this document, Dalrod stated that the reason for the proposal was actually to include a request for the approval of alternate wording for certain product names and for the inclusion of a section to permit similar wording, as is the case with the current dairy regulation. So this would be able to uh, eliminate barriers for trade and afford some leniency whilst remaining compliant with the spirit of the regulation. So then Dara proposed that there should be an inclusion of a statement similar to a specific regulation in those dairy regulations, which would afford for, for this leniency. The other thing that happened was um, there are new R2826 regulations for canned and pickled vegetables. So the Department of Agriculture amended their original R1532 canned and pickled vegetable regulations and published the new ones on the 2nd of December 2022. So also while some people were already leaving on holiday. And the changes that have been implemented include various new definitions such as colorant, mayonnaise, sauce, vacuum packed. All of these terms have been have been edited and included, um, including the amendment of the term pickled vegetables, so to be a bit more broader. And there have also been some additional marking requirements for various categories, as well as new ingredient declaration requirements. Now, Isabella, last year, I believe, was uh, full of drama for the vegan industry. Has there been an update regarding the issues with uh, meat analog or, or vegan products? Yeah, so what's happened is they've extended the, ind- the interdict against meat analog seizure for the CGCSA members until the 8th of May 2023. So as most members of the food industry, especially the processed meat industry, would know, Um, On the 19th of August 2022, the Johannesburg High Court granted an interim interdict in favour of the CGCSA members, which prohibited the designated assignee for for the Department of Agriculture, the FSA, from seizing meat analogue products from retail outlets around the country. So this all happened due to the communique that was sent out in June already, stipulating that these products using naming conventions which fall under the processed meat regulations were illegal as those names were exclusively prescribed for processed meat products and the illicit use of these names would have been actioned by the Department of Agriculture. But then on the 17th of November, the High Court actually extended this interdict to the 8th of May 2023. Now, this implies basically that the extension... um, the extension implies that Dalrod and the FSA remains prohibited from seizing these products produced by members of the CGCSA. 
Okay, and in order to ensure that stakeholders within the food industry are prepared, is there anything else we can expect to come out of 2023? Sure. So... As most are aware, there's a new procedure at the Department of Agriculture since the revocation of two of their assignees. So it was Neja Mogul and Impumalelo. Um, they are the assignees under the APS Act, the Agricultural Product Standards Act. And Darod published a notice in September revocating their actions under Dalrod. So they, they were basically fired by the Demar- Department of Agriculture. So this, they stated that the reason for this revocation was due to the fact that they failed to finalize um, the inspection fees as per previous court judgments that were, were ordering them to, to come with final fees. And they also failed to exercise their powers and their duties in relation to the products that they were designated. So now stakeholders are told to um, that the, the affected products that were um, inspected by these assignees will now be carried out by inspectors of Dalrod as opposed to the, the assignees. So it will be completely different. And the products that are affected by this are the canned fruit, pasta, veg, coffee, dairy, very importantly, fat spreads, frozen fruit and vegetables, fruit juices. Oh, it's quite an extensive list of, of items. The, the list of the names and contact details of the new directorate for inspection service regional managers were sent out to the stakeholders to actually contact when they need inspections. Um, but unfortunately, this has caused a lot of issues as the contact lists provided was not really detailed in terms of the regions, and it also doesn't provide for the separation of food categories to different managers, which was done previously with Dalrod and with their assignees. Um, the other thing that has happened is the Department of Health has communicated to the public during various public engagements that new labeling regulations are on the way. So the Department of Health has made these statements to say that a new and amended draft of R146, the the regulations for the labelling and advertising of foodstuffs is on the way. The last time a draft was published was all the way in 2014 when the R429 draft labelling regulations were released. And since then, stakeholders have been patiently waiting um, because this is quite an important regulation that required amendment. Um, but so far, it appears that stakeholders do not have to hold their breath for much longer and can expect a draft on the horizon, as advised by the Department of Health. Although, that being said, it should be noted <laughs> that uh, the department has been promising this amendment for almost 10 years. So the new draft promises to bring a stricter set of rules along with it as well. Isabella, this was very, very insightful. Thank you for uh, this update on uh, what the food industry should look out for from a a legal and compliance perspective in 2023. As always, uh, thank you for your time. Uh, No problem at all. Thank you so much. Hopefully this warns people as to what's happening and uh, ensures their eyes are open. Yeah, definitely. Until next time, Isabella Mazzone from Han & Han Attorneys. Thank you so much. Are you or your business in trouble and struggling to find a solution? Call Hahn and Hahn Attorneys as we assist clients in finding solutions. We specialize in consumer and food law, commercial and construction law, forensic investigations and administrative law. Visit hahnlaw.co.za. That's H-A-H-N. We assist clients nationwide. Hahn and Hahn Attorneys. Because we care. Don't miss Legal Talk with Hahn and Hahn Attorneys Wednesday mornings at 10 on E-Radio.